Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all something pretty unique that Bethesda took the time adding into the game. And I feel like a lot of players don't know about this. Personally, I didn't until someone reached out to me over on my Instagram. And they took the time letting me know that there is a secret option here that you can get if you have the cannibal perk card on when you go to sleep at the mountainside bed and breakfast. But besides this little secret, I'm also going to be showing you what happens when you don't have the perk card on. And I'm going to be showing you this scenario that happens when you have 12 and higher perception when you go and speak to these people at once again mountainside bed and breakfast this is really interesting and i plan on making a lot of videos similar to this just showing off bethesda's work that they added into the game for our entertainment if you know anything that may be similar to this where we get some kind of unique outcome feel free to jot down below in the comments that'll help keep this series rolling and not to mention it'll help me show up more of bethesda's work because you got to think about it they do take the time implementing these scenarios for just simply our entertainment anyways yeah let's go ahead and get into this now Hopefully this is something new and entertaining for y'all. Okay, so I guess first things first, as you can see, Mountainside Bed and Breakfast is located right down here. So to start this off, I'm going to be showing y'all what happens when you do have the Cannibal Perk card on, since that is what the title's about. But I'm also going to be showing you other scenarios that you can get here as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this off. So we have to go in here and talk to Juliet, ask for a room. It's going to be five caps. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the mountainside bed. You can stay the night for five caps. The room is upstairs to your right. And don't worry, I will be showing you the other dialogue options next time around. Just going to be starting this off once again with what the title states. But yeah, anyways, once we get the room, we're going to want to head on up here and sleep in this bed. And then, well, this is when the interesting part takes place. We're going to be hearing the cannibals approach us. And when they get close enough where they start talking about plotting on ambushing us while we're sleeping, we just want to simply get up and open the door on them. And as long as you have the cannibal perk card on, this is when you can get this unique option. Check this out. I think they are asleep. Hurry up. Let's get this over with. I'm starving. This one looks... Shh. I think they are getting up. Are you sure? I don't know. Hello? Are you enjoying your stay? <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, you get these dialogue options. Look at the dude just turned around like, oh, I'm not here in the background. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and check out these options. So yes, but who are you and what are you doing at my door? Well, we are getting very hungry. Thought we'd go for a snack. I think dinner is finally served. So as you can see, once again, if you have the Cannibal Perk card on, you get this secret option here. I'm starting to feel a little hungry myself. feel like I'm looking at a three-course meal. Oh, God, they're one of us. Let's go. We got to get out of here. <laughs> That's right. Ugh, I got to get out of here. Run. Run from me. What kind of escape is this, guys? Come on, I can walk and catch y'all. <laughs> and they're gone. Pretty awesome. Anyways, let's talk to Juliet now and see what she has to say. I can't believe we survived. I can't believe we survived. So, not much. What about Hubert? I can't believe we survived. Nothing too much as well. But yeah, believe it or not, this was my very first time experiencing this live. I was just told that this could possibly happen over on Instagram. So I decided to record this and just share it with you all, as well as my first time experiencing it too. Now, let me go ahead and show you all some other scenarios that we can get here. This next one I'll be showing you all is when we just let them barge in. I'm also not going to be having the cannibal perk card on either. Oh, and I guess I'll show you the other options as well when we first talk to Juliet here and what she talks about. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Mountainside Bed and Breakfast. Um, what is this place? This is the best and most affordable bed and breakfast in the region. <laughs> Alright. I hope the breakfast part of this place still works. Of course. Not only will you get a good night's sleep, but Hubert will feed you when you wake up in the morning. Okay. That's nice. Who runs this place? Well, uh, you're looking at her. I manage this place with my husband, Hubert. Be mindful around him, please. He's very forgetful at this stage in his life. All right, so yeah, there's the options that we get. Now let's go ahead and ask how much for a room. You can stay the night for five caps. Five caps, not bad, but if you have 12 and higher perception, you can ask this option right here. Let's go ahead and ask her why she seems a little bit nervous. Keep your voice down. 
Cannibals have taken us hostage and are waiting for guests to rent a room. Go down to the basement and ambush them if you want to live. I'll show you what happens with this option next time around. For now, I'm just going to be simply taking the room and showing you what happens when they barge in. Sounds dangerous, but uh, good luck. The room is upstairs to your right. <laughs> Thanks, miss. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. You can hear our player snoring. <laughs> it's kind of eerie just hearing the footsteps coming toward us. I think they are asleep. Hurry up. Let's get this over with. I'm starving. This one looks fresh. Looks like a sucker. Cheese pickings. We gonna rush it on three? Yes. On my count of three. Ready? One, two, three. So yeah, as you can see, they come in guns blazing. What's up, buddy? I'm a bloody build. Nice to meet you guys. You gonna run from me? Am I scary? Am I scary? Alright, you're not screwed. We had to do this the hard way, fellas. Let's see, what do they got on them? Nothing special. Oh, I'll take that 45. Nothing special. Easy pickings, huh? Easy pickings. Boy, were you guys wrong. Alright, where's Juliet? Let's talk to her. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Some serial killer stuff going on here. Anyways, I'm tripping. Julia's probably just in the same spot behind the counter. Yep. I can't believe we survived. I can't believe we survived. Yeah, nothing special once again. But I guess the little detour there led us to go check out the cannibal's basement. Because typically, that room is inaccessible, as you can see here. Anyways, lastly up here, I'm going to be showing you all the uh, 12 and higher perception option. I'll be showing you all the scenario over doing it that way. You can stay the night. Keep your voice down. Cannibals have taken us hostage and are waiting for guests to rent a room. Go down to the basement and ambush them if you want to live. Roger that, Juliet. Good luck and uh, be safe. Oh, pal. Banger. Bang! Oh, dang it. Almost a banger. They're all dead, though. I'll be back. So, yeah, that was all of them, alright? What does Juliet say? I can't believe we survived. There you have it, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully you found this interesting. You know, after all, Bethesda did take the time to add in all of these voice signs and all of these options for us, for our entertainment. And I just wanted to showcase it. And I just wanted to showcase this a bit more because I didn't know about this until someone messaged me over on Instagram about this. Which reminds me, if you guys know any kind of secret similar to this, where it has some secret choices for us to choose from, or we get some kind of unique outcome, please. Uh, leave it down below in the comments, and I'll try to share that with the community, just to show off a bit more of Bethesda's work. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. If you did, it would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and possibly leave a like on the video. And hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance by sticking around and subscribing. And if you don't like what you see in the future, you know you always have the option to just simply unsubscribe. 
As always, though, all of that is totally up to you. Just leaving a friendly reminder here at the end. Most importantly, thanks for taking the time watching and listening. I'm out of here, though, everyone. Until next time, remember to try to stay safe out there. Peace.